making a video with the bear shaft tuning. I've gotten a lot of questions from people who their bear shaft, they still had to move the rest out and they ran out of room or they had to move it in. So a way to do this is cam shimming. So sometimes uh, if you can't bring your rest all the way out, you can shim your cams to move your center shot uh, in towards the bow more. That way your rest isn't all the way out and you have more room for adjustment. So I'm gonna show you how to do that today. So as you can see, there are shims um, outside of the cams right here, and we are going to move the uh, wider one towards the inside and the smaller one towards the outside to change the center shot of the bow. That way we have more adjustment because this one is so far into the bow that we need to take the center shot out. So we're going to put the bigger one towards the center to take the center shot out. Usually what you do to one cam, you want to do to the bottom. The bottom's already set that way, so now the cams will be equal and the center shot will be coming out just a little more. That way we have more room for adjustment. So first, you're going to put your bow in your press, take the tension off of it. Um, some cams, uh, you might have to actually take the strings off. I mean, I'll take them all the way off, but take unhook one side, that way you can uh, let the bow out without any pressure. And sometimes, sometimes it's easier to adjust the cams with the bow out of the press and not under any pressure. We're going to try to do this one in the press, make it easier. So to start, you got to loosen the cam with this one. This is a Matthews Riddix. You have to hold uh, one of the screws while you loosen the other one. Sure you don't lose that. So it's loose. And then the easiest way is to put one tool on the lip. Right in there and uh, head it out. Just like that. Starts to come out. Take it out just like that. So then I can just then slide the cam right out. I'm just gonna lay it there. So Matthews has ones that actually set inside here. They're not just little spacers, they actually go inside. Uh, so I gotta tap them out. And then I'm going to switch the larger one to the inside to bring the center shot out. So there'll be more space this way. Tap it just like that. So this is what the Matthews looks like. This is the wider spacer. We need to bring the center shot out. So I'm putting the wider spacer on the inside. So now there's more space here bringing the cam out. So that way the center shot comes out away from the bow. So we have more adjustment. This is a smaller. like so and there we switched our spacing now we're gonna put the cam back on okay. slide this back in one side so now you gotta get a wiggle a good hit there you go you gotta just give it uh sometimes it doesn't go straight in, you just gotta wiggle them a little bit. Sometimes give a good hit once you have it all lined up, it goes right in. And then we're going to uh, put the screw back in. And then again, you gotta hold one side as you tighten. You just want it snug, uh, you don't have to over crank it. Just like 
like so. The wider one is now on the inside, the smaller one on the outside, and the center shot should be coming out. So we have more room for our bear shaft tuning to adjust the rest of the center shot of the bow so it's not so tight against the riser. So the Matthews verdicts and a lot of the Matthews that have those spacers that actually go inside the uh, limb are pretty easy to change out and you can keep it in the press. But when you're using uh, switching out a bow with actual spacers, um, it's usually easier to take it off the press, the strings off, or just take off one side of the string and uh, let the pressure off and take the cams off that way. Because if you try to do it in the press, these are going to be hard to get in and lined up. It's just easier on the table. Matthew is really easy, just swapping them like that. But for example, a lot of bows have these spacers. Sometimes the spacers are even, just like that. You can't switch even spacers because um, that wouldn't make any sense. But you can, uh, there's another way to shim the cams uh, using spacers. You just find two spacers that are the same size as the spacer you um, are replacing. So you can, you can use two spacers instead of one as long as they're the same size. So you, have to, you don't want to add or take away from what the bow already has set, spacer-wise. But So I find two spacers the same size as this bigger spacer, and so I can take one spacer, put it on the other side, um, making that one spacer bigger, and then smaller on the other side. So there's still the same amount of space on the cams, just I'm um, changing, making one side greater than the other. Sense. You usually want to do what you do to the top, you do to the bottom. One thing you got to be careful with is uh, spacing too much and cam lean, and then you get your cables rubbing. So you have to be aware of that as well. As you can see here, the spacers or shims are equal. Here, I'm taking two different spacers and making them equal to the spacer I'm going to replace. So one smaller than the other, as you can see. And then I'm going to take the smaller spacer and transfer it to the other side. So adding it to the other spacer. I'm not adding or taking away any space that already existed. I'm just shifting the space on each side. Transferring uh, the gap. So I can move the, sh the cam center shot in or out. So, there's a couple different ways to cam shim. You just want to make sure you keep the same spacing. When you replace the spacers, just make sure they're the same size and then transfer over. Uh, keeping the same spacing is crucial. You just want to watch for cam lean and rubbing against your cables. Another way, if you run out of room with bear shaft tuning, is adjusting yokes. Uh, not every bow has them, but you can do that instead of cam shimming, is adjusting the yokes to pull the point left or right, which we'll go over in another video. Um, I hope this video helps with cam shimming, and uh, good luck!